This program contains graphic material, including offensive language. Viewer discretion is advised. They're the city's living nightmare. All in the We everywhere. Our turf is everywhere. Hoover criminals, everybody killers. They're one of the most violent gangs in Portland right now. They are the Hoover criminals. And in Portland, they'll use anything. If it was an enemy, I'm trying to stab him with a screwdriver. I'm trying to stab him with a knife. To take out their enemies. The more they were killed, the more they were killing. Hoover gang members go from like a zero to violent immediately. I don't think it, it'd be a pretty sight to really f with the Hoovers. It's just Hoovers against the world. Portland, Oregon, known as P-Town. It's nestled in a valley at the foot of Mount Hood, where the Columbia and Willamette Rivers meet. America's greenest city. It's the ideal place to raise a family in the 21st century. You have people who are really into the outdoors, um, Going to nature and conserving that. And so I think it just draws a lot of people. This reputation has resulted in a population growth of 65% in the last three decades. As the city has expanded, so has its gang problem. Black male, white shirt, black pants, north on 16, and then east on Prescott with a gun in his hand. In a recent span of just two months, Portland has had eight gangland shootings, and the Portland gang unit is calling it a crisis. At the heart of the bloodshed stands one street gang, the Hoover Criminals. A group of, of Hoover gang members, three firearms, one sawed-off shotgun and two pistols, all on them. They're way away from their home area. The Hoover gang members are among the worst gangs we have here in Portland. The Hoovers are ruthless, and their crimes range from drug dealing to home invasions and dog fighting. Whatever your hustle is, selling dope, robbing people, however you choose to go get it, that's how you're going to go get it. In a city that is 75% white, the Hoovers stand out. Yet this small gang has earned a big rep for committing the majority of the city's gang crimes. Hoovers is big, they know, they just basically do their own thing. It's not somebody just telling them to do this, that, and the other thing, but it's gonna be hell in the city. Corey Jenkins, a.k.a. C.J. Groove, has been in and out of jail since 2003. He's currently serving time for a parole violation stemming from an assault charge. C.J. grew up as a Hoover legacy. That's my family. When it all came down to anything, I was going to Ride with Hoover. Like many members of the gang, he joined early at just 10. I've seen people shot. I've seen people graze. I've seen people die. It's just all a part of it's just all part of life. CJ Groove is used to bloodshed, but learned early on that he couldn't stomach one of the Hoover's biggest money 